Introducing Drongo, the ADC that's not that bad, really, I swear. Looking like something from Borderlands, he relied on precision during a period of Paragon when nobody had time for that aiming shit. Drongo's main failing is that he doesn't add anything to a team that other ADCs can't do better. However, he isn't bad enough to encourage the more hardcore players to take him on as a challenge. While his character design is quite colorful, as an overall hero he's pretty beige. Brad Browns was a toggle ability that could do some decent damage as long as you could land your basics. However, Drongo was introduced to the game shortly after Multishot Gym. By the time he came around, everyone was far too used to just holding their auto attack button and spraying in the general direction of their enemies. Timing shots in order to hit each and every one was a thing of the past. Even if you did put the time in to land your rad round shots, the payoff took far longer than the average time to kill in Paragon. Having the weight on your damage as a carry meant the best you could do was hope that your rad rounds would explode with enough damage to kill a person that just killed you. Old Rusty was a fairly unique and fun ability. Toss out a boomerang that would pass through minions and slow enemies hit. And what would a post-apocalyptic themed hero be without some sort of ties to Australia? Seriously, the first Mad Max was released in 1979, and yet every fucking gaming company insists on making their Wasteland Warriors Australian. I've been to Australia, it's a beautiful country full of lovely people that are all a little bit crazy. Gag Grenade was the ability I was personally the most excited about. Finally a way for an ADC to defend themselves against the Countess Onslaught. This theory really didn't hold up well. The small range and time for Gag Grenade meant that the Countess players simply had to step back and wait a second or two before skull fucking me with their swords. It did, however, make for a great team fighting ability if you could live long enough to use it. Always funny to see an enemy's plans ruined by the silence and then watch as they panic. Shrapnel Blast was Drongo's ultimate ability. It gets my personal vote for the absolute worst ultimate in Paragon. I mean, really, it did shit for damage but was only really good for escaping. Is it a good escape tool if it's on an ultimate cooldown? Nope. Watch as they show him killing people who are at like 3% health. So impressive. I get the concept. Get in, stack rad rounds, get out. It just didn't actually work. Why go through all of that when you can just blow people up with Rev or wipe out an entire team with Sparrow? Counter Drongo by playing a better ADC. It's not hard, just pick pretty much any other one. Barring that, just engage fast to bait out the gas grenade, wait a second, and then kill the shit out of him. Try to pull a 180 to fire your ult backwards and chase on Drongo today. Fill people with rad rounds, then run for your life on Drongo today. Make Emojin Joe proud on Drongo today. I'll miss old Rusty, but that's about it. Sorry, Drongo. Mangoose. If you want to see a funny take on Multishot Gym, check out the video on the left. If you'd rather see some more serious stuff from the Mangoose, take a look at my sub-submitted fan lore series on the right.